So today we'll do a program where we'll calculate and display a multiplication table of any given number. So let us choose standard exe, click on open, let us take a text box and on top of the text box we'll insert a level control and in this level control we'll write enter a number for multiplication table. So let us now increase the font size, we'll select both the controls and then go to font and then we'll click on 12 and then bold and we may choose the font as media pro, we'll make it bold and click on ok. So this is our font, ok, hope you can see it, we'll just select this level increase the size that is the height of the level so we are asking for a number to generate multiplication table we will align, align this to center of the screen ok and beneath this the text box data will also be center aligned again I will double click twice to bring to center let us go to the text property of this box and remove the text done now this is our interface ok and as the caption of the form I will write multiplication table generate now see to display multiplication table we are going to select this list box control and write beneath the text box we leave some space on top we need to display only 10 lines and we will try to squeeze a command button here like this name of the command button should be command1 and the caption should be generate and let us change the font also this is the font property for the 12 media pro and then let us make this bold click on ok so this is the generate button let us click on this list box Increase the gap a little bit, okay, a little more. Now our interface is complete. What we'll do, we'll display the multiplication table in this list box as well as on the body of the form. We'll try both. Again, we'll select the list box. We'll go to the font property. Again, 12, media pro, bold, click on OK. Suppose I want to remove this list, this text list. I'll go to the list property. In the list property, I'll just click once, it will be removed. Clear? So let us increase the height of this form a little bit so the list box can be increased in length and then it can accommodate at least 10 lines. So this is our interface. Now I'll click on the generate to generate the code because when generate button is clicked it should be able to show the multiplication table. Let me show you if I click after writing the number here if I click on the generate button this should be able to create the multiplication table here on top of the form as well as inside this list box. So let us double click on generate. We'll declare a variable dim n as integer. So in integer we'll have what? Sorry. Sorry. So in n we'll have the number for which we need to generate the multiplication table. And one more variable dim lines as integer. So this will count 10 lines to display. Now let me take the data from the text box, okay? So let us see how the code can be written, okay? We'll align these two windows side by side so that we can see the interface as well as we can easily write down the code, okay? So this is our interface and this is the code part. So here in N, we'll take the number from this text box. The val function will convert this text to integer value. So this text box is text one dot text it will face the text from here and then it will be converted to integer by using val and it will be stored in n now we have got the number in n we need to count 10 lines and display 10 lines of multiplication so for this we will use for loop we will write for lines to start from 1 for lines equals to 1 2 10 
it will go up to 10 for lines equals to 1 to 10 that means you count from 1 and it will go up to 10 as long as the value of lines is within the range of 1 and 10 the loop body should be executed now how multiplication table should be displayed suppose the value of n is 5 so it should be displayed like 5 then into then 1 for the first line then equal sign followed by actually the calculated value so it will be 5 into 1 because for multiplication we need to display this sign so how do i do that so this is called the list box and the name of the list box is list1 i'll copy that name so i'll write list1 or i'll paste this what i've copied dot add item then without any equal sign i have to write the value of n the so n is a variable you can directly display the name of the variable n so that should be joined by using concatenation operator and you should write into sign within double quotes having space in both sides to make it look beautiful then the value one if i write it on one only then every line it will be one from where we are getting the lines we are getting the lines from line value okay so i'll write ampersand to join it with the value of the variable lines okay then again it should be joined with this equal sign it should be kept in quotes yes or no it should be kept in quotes and after that ampersand to join it we must multiply and display the value of n into lines okay if i do so i'll be able to join the number with the into sign followed by the value of the line followed by equal sign followed by the product of n into lines then to display it on the body of the form what you can do you can copy this and you can write it using print if i write print and then this this will add this on the body of the form also and after that we should write next because in for loop if i don't write next lines will not be incremented and we cannot go to the next value of line if we run this code and give the multiplication tables number as 45 and click on generate see we are going to get this multiplication table in this list box as well as on the body of the form.